let me speak over your life number one job chapter 5 and verse 12 he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise hear me anybody who does not mean well for you may their hands never come close to your destiny psalm 7 15 and 16 these three scriptures came to me in the place of prayer i was not even praying about them they just came to my spirit he made a pit and digged it and is falling into the ditch which he made verse 16 his mischief shall return upon his head and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own page please hear me in this season may the god of vengeance may the god who is able to judge may he bring judgment to the works of the wicked over your life in the name of jesus christ last scripture isaiah 54 17. popular scripture but it came to my spirit in the place of prayer isaiah 54 17. it says no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper so everything is looking for prosperity including the devil including weapons they want to prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shall condemn the bible says this is the heritage of the servants of the lord and their righteousness is of me i want to pray for you if any mouth must speak about you let it be for good one more time if any tongue must speak about you let it be for good every counsel of Ahitophel towards your helpers to manipulate them so that they do not treat you with favor in the name of Jesus we overturn this night by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ July is about to end the seventh month August begins as the eighth month eighth is the number of new beginning and the Bible says remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old he said for behold I do a new thing may that new thing anointing rest upon you new things in your spiritual life new things financially new things in your career new things in life and destiny hear me the spirit of the old all things i drive it far from your life in the name of jesus christ if i speak favor over you are you still willing to receive until i see every one of us become a living epistle of the favor of god i will not stop speaking it over your life for some of you to take a while speaking it for you to come to the consciousness of the all surpassing value of the favor of god in the life of a man but for as many whose hearts are open and truly ready to receive in jesus name one more time even this night receive favor favor with men favor with systems favor with structures be at peace with money in the name of jesus christ your daily bread needed for your efficiency per day per week per month let god bring it to your hands koinonia hear me by favor even in famine you shall laugh your children will laugh in the name of jesus christ I hope you know that favor is not just limited to things it takes favor to receive encounters with God when Gabriel came to Mary he said I am here because you are highly favored in other words it's not because your eyes were open through prayer and fasting alone 
it takes favor when God the Bible says blessed is the man who God causes to appear to approach him the vistas of the spirit are not just open because you pursue in terms of prayer and fasting as important as that is there are men who can find favor with God and God can come to you open to you the vistas of your destiny let me pray for your spiritual life you have received things enough let's pray for nobler things in your life in the name that is above all names your prayer life every attack over your prayer life the diligence the discipline to travel until you evolve to become that superior believer receive that grace now receive that mantle now receive that anointing now receive that grace now the grace to wake up and pray and to pray till you establish things in your life number two receive the grace to have dominion over food some of you the unbecoming in your life is gluttony you can resist every other temptation but food everything god gave man he gave man control over the moment things dominate you you are oppressed in the name of jesus i decree and declare the grace to discipline yourself in prayer in fastings for the purpose of your spiritual growth receive it now Amen. let me pray for your word study life you know by now that the anchor to your stability and growth is a thorough methodical understanding of doctrine even the ways of God that in all your knowledge if there are gaps in your spiritual understanding you cannot become a person of stature so week in week out you are mentored shown the various facets of the christian life to the end that you become robust built as Ephesians says should be i decree and declare the appetite for the word the appetite for study not just study to preach not just study to go on social media but study for your knowledge for your stability and for your understanding receive that grace now For many of you who have underutilized the ministry of the Holy Spirit, the only circumference of our knowing Him is just praying in tongues and then we stop there. I pray for you that the deeper dimensions of intimacy that can drive men into that river with the Holy Spirit, wherewith champions are made out of weakness wherewith strength is made wherewith destinies are birthed that men are molded and fashioned to become men of power and grace in the name of jesus christ i i push you deeper into that relationship for someone here your only prayer when you came is apostle please pray that god will give me at least one good friend i'm tired of liars in my life tired of psychophants tired of hypocrites i don't know who that person is may my god the one who connects men who takes men in solitary places and connects them to families may he bring strategic people and connect you in the order of david and jonathan in the name of jesus christ and if there is any wrong person wrong company wrong group of people misleading you number one from your walk with god from your passion for the house of god misleading you into perdition i pray for you from this service obtain grace to run as far as the east is from the west in the name of jesus the level of spiritual power needed in your life for this season power to overcome evil power to ward off the arsenals of darkness power to stand tall and see to it that the purposes of God are birthed in your life the requisite level of spiritual power the impartation in the order of Acts chapter 4 let it be rested upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ thou shall arise it's amazing that God needs to stand up to show mercy mercy is that serious there are two reasons why he arises arise O lord and let your enemies be scattered and now he says arise thou shall arise and have mercy upon joshua selman for the time the time 
the moment the time to favor him yay the set time is come lord arise don't sit down again arise for the time show mercy because without your mercy favor cannot come it is your mercy that will birth the favor that i need for the season in my life therefore thou shall arise and have mercy upon your zion for the time to favor her yet the set time has come lift your voice and turn this scripture into prayer we are praying today please pray please pray lord arise is there someone praying thou shall arise thou shall arise thou shall arise have mercy upon my family upon my career upon my spiritual life for the time to favor me the time to lift me the time to honor me hallelujah first samuel chapter 12 and verse 6 never forget this scripture for the rest of your life in the name of jesus first samuel chapter 12 please and verse 6 then samuel said to the people the lord who appointed moses and aaron and who brought your ancestors from the land of egypt is a witness another version says it was god who advanced moses and aaron it was god who advanced moses god bless you it was the lord that did what advanced moses it's god that pushes people forward it takes more than intention and desire someone turn it into a prayer push me forward move me forward from this realm from this dimension lift your voice house of david lift your voice and pray it was the lord that caused moses to advance it was the lord that caused Aaron to advance is someone pray it was the lord that caused Moses and Aaron to advance. Parutas, keep praying. hallelujah hallelujah father move our lives take us to realms never imagined in the name of jesus please sit down for a few minutes please don't be tired because we're going to be standing a lot this morning we're wrapping up this conference and it's important that haven't heard the word we pray it into reality you see sometimes it is dangerous to be exposed to truth and not use it it, it would be better off that the information did not come but that you have access to truth you must sustain the grace it says now that ye know these things happy are you if you do them hallelujah psalm 103 I truly love David we're going to read the first 17 verses but the verse of emphasis is verse 1 to 5 but there is a reason why we will go that far praise the Lord because what we are reading is what God will do in the life of someone this morning in the name of Jesus just keep the scripture there 
but the scripture we read earlier said thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion why because if you do not show a man mercy there are many things that cannot come the bible says favor itself is tied to the release of god's mercy that when god's mercy is upon a man then he can be a benefactor of his favor and can i tell you sincerely most of the things we need in life are favor dependent it is true it is true i have a dear person in our ministry who would always say that the favor and the blessings of god upon your life will increase your prayer life and reduce your prayer points so that all you are left with is worship you come to a point where the bible says and abraham was old and well stricken in age and the lord had blessed him in all things there is such a possibility in a man's life where you enjoy the goodness and the mercy of god all around spiritually your influence your finances your health your life as a testimony a portrait of what god can do with a man who he has lavishly shown his mercy upon are we together so we see that mercy and favor are connected you know i knew when favor was not on my life it was very clear i was still a christian i was filled with the holy spirit but it was very evident that the favor of god was not upon my life i'm telling you sincerely and i mean no disrespect you can handpick a man who has not experienced the mercy and the favor of god it is clear there are many indices to measure lack of favor one of it is hardship another is stagnation you can know that people are limited at the same level you see them after five years and there's no difference between five years before and five years after the only thing is that they are alive the only thing growing is their age nothing else is growing in their life the bible says for such people the lord would remedy that situation by arising to show them mercy thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion why because the time to favor her yea the set time is come when god decides to invest his mercy upon a man and to expose that man to favor be careful to not make any statement that is wrong because you will live your lifetime burying your head in shame when god decides to invest his mercy his jealousy and his favor upon a family upon a career brothers and sisters you will see someone yesterday who will look like a failure and by tomorrow you will not understand by what system he or she rose this is the mystery behind the nonsense people say people come out of nowhere i've said it again and again there is nobody who comes out of nowhere people are messy made people are favor made whilst you see people almost at the point of death you do not know the negotiations that they are having with god when god stamps his mercy upon their lives everything responds to them everything responds to them good things will wait until they come there as though other people are not there good things will be delayed unnecessarily until they are there a great man who should bless because you are not there will not come delayed by god until you show up you must meet good things this is how you know that the favor of god is upon a man and like pastor what you shared yesterday very powerful listen let me tell you the bible says thanks be to god the god of our father who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in christ in god's economy nothing of value is physical please understand this nothing of value is physical the reason is because physical things were framed from the earth and they are subject to depletion delay and exhaustion decay i meant to say corruption are we together so if you are given a million naira let's say a billion naira something very realistic that will make you excited you will think that because you know what to do with that money there is a guarantee that you will be wealthy forever the vicissitudes of life are so many you don't even the bible says you don't know which evil will come upon the earth 
people have crashed from everything to nothing and the people were not foolish it took wisdom to build that far and then they still crash down so when god really wants to help a man he does not give you things in your hand he puts things on your head thou anointest my head with oil but the proof is on my cup he does not anoint your cup i can know what is on your head by looking at what is in your cup when god wants to help men he does not give them money when god wants to help men he will place something upon them spiritual realities are real just because they are spiritual does not mean we are already used to um if i give you a billionaire's complimentary card and you have access to his private line sometimes you'll be excited and you feel that you're at a point of advantage there is no guarantee that having that card and that number means that you have his favor ah but when something leaves heaven and comes upon your life you see sir this is what has been studied by business schools business people and they notice that there were certain human beings who exhibited magnetic properties they were human beings but they worked as though they were metals that they seem to sustain a strange ability that attracts certain scenarios and then they began to call people money magnets and all kinds of magnets they are not lying they are attempting to explain what happens to a man when the realm of the spirit signs upon your life god's mercy and god's favor bring a man who has no advantage in life invest the mercy and the grace of god you can wave him goodbye and tell him see you at the top you are not confessing you will see what will happen in the midst of his confusion what is upon him will strangely you don't pick metals one by one you pass a magnet they find their way up it is laborious to start you don't even know where they are are, are we together now thou shall arise and have mercy life is hard when the mercy of god is not upon a man it doesn't matter what kind of advantage you have the world is too wicked to isolate you and just be good to you for no reason the selfishness and the biases in men remember our discussion on men someone will come and antagonize you on based on tribe based on gender based on age based on the the pain of your parents your father did something for me now is the time to get back at you but not when his mercy is upon you thou shall arise please listen very carefully and have mercy upon zion for the time to favor her yet the set time is come i told you yesterday and through the teachings i'm sure you've learned now that mercy is not something that only sinners need the theology that we have received before now is that mercy is for fornicators and adulterers and smokers etc and so when you feel that i am none of these um you don't like the subject of mercy we love favor we love everything but if i say may god show you mercy what have i done what have i done wrong that he shows me mercy if you say favor aha uh -huh, i need that wisdom yes but we do not know that the very key that opens up all those possibilities is the mercy of god the bible says it is of the lord's mercy that we are not consumed that means if he looks at us the way we are his justice and his judgment will necessitate that we fail and perish but that he only looks at us through the lens of his mercy and when he looks at us through the lens of his mercy he sees himself and this becomes the basis of his dealing with us thou shall arise and have mercy upon a failure thou shall arise and have mercy upon one who had been ravaged by all kinds of demonic and diabolic things thou shall arise and have mercy upon a pastor thou shall arise and have mercy you know let me tell you something the first time i came here when you moved here when i looked at this facility and you know a number of people have given me a little uh, brief about this region and this area and i saw this facility and i saw these things and i said kai life i don't know why men like suffering we like hardship and we like suffering whereas god has created a bailout system through humility did you know that it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late in the night that is the testimony of many people we wake up in the morning and think it is just it is truly of the lord's mercy it is the lord that showed mercy get the teachings all through yesterday there's no point going through them 
Pastor Pochu shared something very powerful. One of the proofs of mercy is that the eyes of your understanding, spiritual illumination is granted unto you. Are we together? So that you will see. There is a grace that can make men see. Is the mercy of God. That you will see an oasis in a desert where no one is seeing. This is how people, that's why you see people rise to positions that when you are clapping for them, they feel guilty. Because in all honesty, they know that if you separate the mercy of God, it's not so much about their creativity. Yes, they participated. This is the disposition of the believer. So that when some are trusting in horses and chariots, we can come and say, well, I don't know how you got yours, but this estate, if I tell you I got this because I went to school, I'm lying. I was just passing and I saw rubbles. And God said, look again. And I saw an estate in the rubbles. I will never be the same. I've touched your grace. I was I will never be the same. I touched your grace. My life must change. Look at the beautiful facility that God has given this church. One thing I know with your city is that space is gold. And when I see the parking facility and all of this, I just look and I say, this is the grace of God. Please, make up your mind this year that you will cause suffering and hardship intentionally. Attack it and say, you, it, you have to live my life. There are people who move forward, but if you stop applying effort in the flesh, you will not move forward. That kind of life is difficult. You can't give God glory. That's why when people say, it's God that gave you everything, you look at them and say, where, where was he when I was up in the night? God gave me what? because it was in the strength of the flesh but there are realms see there are times that god blesses your farm but there are times the urgency requires bread directly from heaven there's no time to plant and wait the urgency requires bread he can give both blessings upon your farm but there are times the delay in your life before you farm and wait and reap he can send it from heaven they are called prepared blessings God is not only the God who gives harvest to your grains. God can send manna from heaven. Because when life pushes you and time, time is all that we've had. A man of 60 years, when are you going to start teaching him the principles of finances? You know how hard it is to learn that thing? And now the guy struggles for another 10 years and just when he he's done learning, he's about to die. There has to be a way. And God will visit someone and say bless this man give him a house give him a car it's my instruction and you see an old man standing in front of a car that he wants to run away from and they say it's yours it is the hand of god we hardly hear these kinds of testimonies again the reason is because we are intelligent in ourselves and so we you hardly hear people now say god said do this because of our strength and by the arm of flesh shall no man prevail please hear me we are mercy made we are made by his favor it is true the same is true in business the same is true in ministry the same is true in our work with god i gave you an example yesterday that someone can be under a bridge destroying his life with liquor and all of that and suddenly god appears to that person he was not praying in fact did you know that cain's conversation with god he was the blood of abel that called god it was not even cain who called God and when God was speaking to him he would have said Lord thank you you have visited me and he said well am I my brother's keeper in other words you can keep talking you don't disturb me a man is having a visitation from God that we so covet and he's trivializing it and God is not angry to leave the man then God curses the man and he renegotiates things and said God this is too much let's discuss put a mark we like this is too much even in your judgment I know you are merciful will you give me what is greater than me Hezekiah was given a death sentence by a true prophet. Chapter 38 of Isaiah. Put your house together, you will not survive from that sickness. And Hezekiah said, prophet, God bless you. I know you are a man. You are an obedient man. You go. I know a merciful God. And he turned his face to the wall and said, oh God, remember. He renegotiated his life. Men appointed to death can cancel that verdict. The mercy of God is powerful. Without the mercy of God, life will treat you as you deserve. 
and let me tell you what we deserve from this life is nothing but misery and catastrophe the depravity of our hearts the reality and the fragility of our humanity continue to program woes whether we are good or not it takes the mercy of god to edit the seeds we have sown and stop some harvests from happening if every seed that we have sown grows to become a tree that tree will kill us some of us will not survive one year but it is of the lord's mercy are we together when the mercy of god comes to you certain things begin to happen immediately in your life we're going to look at them briefly and then we'll pray the mercy the favor the mercy the favor the mercy of god isolating you out and dealing with you in a way and manner that you do not deserve because he's aware of certain things about you the mercy of god is not an excuse for carelessness the mercy of god is his remedy for your humanity i want to drum this again and again the mercy of god is proof that he loves us he understands our frame as we'll be reading shortly he knows that we are dust hallelujah psalm 103 i'll read and then we'll get to a place where we invite you to join me are we ready bless the lord O oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name we're reading to verse 17 bless the lord O oh my soul and what forget not his benefits so these are the fruits of mercy the benefits of god upon a man's life one verse three who forgiveth how many all thine iniquities please stop there the bible didn't say who forgives your sin i told you that iniquity is a revelation of a state of your heart executed or not are we together now he says if i hide iniquity in my heart the psalmist said the lord would not have heard me it is only what you have done that we can see that we can talk about the ones that are there being programmed for decades to come the lord himself can look upon you with mercy and forgive even the state of your heart who forgiveth thine iniquities and then number two who healed all how many please look up who healed like pastor was sharing it's not enough to be aware of the power the might of god that is his ability but is he willing the mercy of god is an expression of his willingness to reach out to you who healed all thy diseases who redeemed thy life from destruction deliverance is a sign of the mercy of god who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies five who satisfied thy mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles please keep that scripture verse five there is a relationship between the renewal on you, of your youth and the satisfaction of your mouth are we together now that means there is something hunger can do to your frame please look up the bible says he satisfies your mouth with good things and the effect is that it will make your youth renewed like an eagle that means there's a level of lack and suffering and hardship that can wrinkle you to become decades older than you truly are he says satisfy us early with your mercy a man can be helped by god marvelously marvelously helped by god and your youth is renewed like that of an eagle the advantage of the eagle is that it can rise as you have learned and it can it can you know defeather itself and wait for brand new feathers to rise again so you always see it looking fresh and agile six the lord executed righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed he made known his ways to moses his acts to the children of israel read on please the lord is merciful and gracious slow to anger plenteous in mercy he will not always chide neither will he keep his anger forever he hath not dealt with us after our sins is someone seen it there nor rewarded us according to our iniquity 11 
for as the heaven is high above the earth so great is his mercy towards them that fear him as far as the east is from the west so far hath he removed our transgression transgression is not necessarily sin transgression is a violation of god's patterns a violation of god's ordinances you may be born again and filled with the holy spirit but you are not a faithful tither you don't give you don't have seeds meaning a harvest should not come that's transgression a deviation from his patterns like a father pitied his children so the lord pitied them that fear him four more verses and we're done for he knoweth our frame look at this this is the motivation behind the things that he does he knows our frame he remembered that we are dust as for man his days are like grass as a flower of the field so he flourished 16 for the wind passed over it and is gone and the place thereof shall know it no more but the mercy of the lord hallelujah the mercy of the lord is not for one year the mercy of the lord is not for two years if the mercy of the lord ended a year before you were born you are in trouble but the mercy of the lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness upon children's children the mercy of the lord is from everlasting to everlasting the bible even says that they are new every morning very powerful new renewed every morning his insistence to see that we can access his benevolence and become all that he's designed us to be his mercy it's a powerful prayer that you need to pray all the time look upon me oh god from the lens of your mercy look upon me look above and beyond my limitations look above and beyond my foolishness look above and beyond my humanity look above and beyond my effort in your mercy treat me as one who has obtained mercy and you will marvel and wonder people of God you will see results and you will see harvest of seeds you did not remember sowing because someone sowed it for you he looked at you and suspected you may forget and sowed it for you Job would descend that peradventure his children would sin and in advance he would offer sacrifices for them mercy 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 thou son of david have mercy on me show me mercy thou son of david have mercy upon my business when you begin to see these things happen listen did you know that two people can commit the same crime in an office right and the law or the policy can be to dismiss them but one person would know how to access the mercy of God and he will go back and cry Psalm 51 and say Lord against you and you alone have I seen show me mercy and whilst the director or the boss is sleeping he can have a dream and see the face of only one person show him mercy and get up in the morning and call two of you and say you you are gone you wait did you know that both the wine presser and the baker committed it was the same crime that brought them there are we together now and two of them had dreams as far as we know the dreams did not come from the devil all their dreams had three days their dreams had several things joseph now interprets in three days you'd be restored back to the king and the other one said ah, i dreamt too and in this dream i saw three baskets and he said ah the meaning of your own dream is that in three days they will call you like you have desired but that call is to hang you and the birds will eat your flesh and it happened like that the mercy of god 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 i believe in his mercy i'm a product of his mercy i have seen his favor when we sing these songs we sing it because of what he has done did you know that I listen to myself, Pastor? And sometimes when I listen to myself, I'm wondering, who is this guy preaching? And I'm listening to myself. And I hear things that I said, and I said, my God, can you imagine this? And I'm wondering where that inspiration came from. And sometimes I just go on my knees and say, Lord, I fear you. You do things in my life that make you fear you again and again. I testify 
I testify that your goodness is real. I'm here today to testify that your goodness is real. Your goodness is real. I testify your goodness is real. Your mercies are real. I testify. I testify, testify that your goodness is real. I testify, I testify. Your goodness is real. Say your goodness is real. I testify, your goodness is real. Your favor is real. Your favor is real. Listen, you can get to a point with God where in 24 hours, if you are not favored, you will go for a retreat because you know it's an attack. You would have gotten to the realm where he daily loads you, not weekly, not monthly. Please hear what I'm telling you. This man talking to you is not talking nonsense. Find a way of believing what I'm telling you. You can get to a point where the gap between one favor and another is maximum 24 hours that if in 24 hours nothing good comes you can see it as a sign of attack because God has so brought the light of his mercy and favor you become Beulah and Hephzibah the delight of people when someone has excess money and wants to bless people your face comes immediately as though he does not have relatives he now begins to think about you Men can forget. They don't remember on their own. There is a grace for remembrance. There is a grace that makes men to remember men. And God brings you into a realm of prepared blessings. Do you know why? Pastor also shared it yesterday. Because there is a purpose assigned to our destinies. And some of these things that need to be in place. If we do not route them through the mercy and the favor of God. They will distract you. And your whole life will be lived getting them. Instead of having them and using them for the purpose assigned i give you an instance if god has called and ordained you to be a kingdom financier that means there must be a time allocated in his economy where you should have conquered finances so that now at that point from that point of victory you can now start hearing him send this to household of david send this to this place send this to this mission that's your assignment your assignment is not to make money being wealthy now has qualified you to be faithful in your assignment but the devil can abort that assignment not by stopping you from the knowledge of it but by delaying you so that the day you make your first one billion you are 75 years it's no longer a testimony so he says satisfy me early there is timing to my life satisfy me early lord you have called me to be a man of god I should not begin to feed and bless the nations when I'm 60. I got born again at 17. What was I doing that far? 18 years was enough for Jesus to be ready for ministry. 12 plus 18, 30 on the dot and he was ready. In three years, he conquered the whole earth. Do you know there is a spirit of lateness in Africa? Look up, please. We are going to pray this morning. There is a wicked spirit of lateness in Africa where it almost looks like a cost to do things fast, to get things fast. If you build your house at 22, people suspect you're a drug baron. They say, where did this... In as much as we must appreciate the fact that true success takes time, it's a product of understanding, track record, mentorship, etc. What then is the advantage of the Holy Spirit and these systems in the kingdom? Not everybody is a fraudster. Not, they, are, they are just systems of advantage that we can tap into. Prepared blessings. When the devil wants to frustrate you, every other thing increases except your salary. And you are there angry and looking at yourself, talking to yourself. You don't even know when evening has come. This is what is happening to people. You see people talking to themselves, you think they're on a phone, but they're angry. They are talking to themselves till they get sick. Young people now having high blood pressure. You see a man of 70 and a young boy of 21. Two of them are receiving the same drug for BP. Why should it be so? A merry heart doeth good like medicine. But the Bible says a broken spirit can dry up the bones. 
ask and you shall receive that your joy may be complete there is a dimension of joy that is dependent on your receiving there are things if you do not receive your joy will not be complete hallelujah if i ask all of us now in the name of honesty to write three things we want god to do for us and drop it now if we have the opportunity to x-ray this for many people the problems are not the you can compartmentalize the problem it, it would not be more than five or six areas usually one will be finances am i right second will be maybe family problems three can be health four spiritual problems and all of that lord i don't know where i'm here i'm not hearing you i don't know where i'm up today down tomorrow and then finally all other maybe others we'll call it others but but that's really the classification these things are distracting it takes the mercy of god to help you settle certain things on time so you can now lift up your eyes and say lord why was i born why am i here lo i come he says in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do your will not to guess my way not to try my life there are many people today who are completely outside of the will of God. There are prophets today loitering the streets of Lagos looking for money because ends must be met. Jacob could not live out the fullness of his prophetic ministry until the final days of his life. Satisfy me early with your mercy. Lord, let me build the house early so that it will take away that distraction. Open up doors for me to know I can settle my children's school fees till PhD if need be so that I can focus on you. Why will I spend time pray, praying and 90% of the time is petition? Where then will, is the time to know you? When you open your Bible, you are searching for promises. Promises, all true. We, and it's wonderful. Uh, where I, I, I have to search for a way to tie the hand of God to force this thing to come. There is a realm where God can satisfy a man. I had the privilege to pray for someone and a husband and a wife, very blessed people, they love the Lord. And I told them, I said, I love to pray for people. What is the, do you have any prayer requests? And in all honesty, I don't get to see that many times. They looked at themselves and sincerely, in truth, they didn't have any prayer request they just knelt down and said we just want to know the lord more. i said this is it this is exactly the kind of thing we are talking about i just want to know the lord know him more why because there is a roof over my head why because god has been faithful why because the school fees of my children can be settled the matters that pertain unto life and godliness have been sorted out now i can focus god can speak to me and i can hear him your goodness is real i testify your goodness is real your favor is real i testify your goodness is real i testify your goodness is real hallelujah there are many people who are trusting god for different levels of establishment especially with the younger ones we are trusting God for all kinds of things and let me tell you I don't mean to be a prophet of doom but it is true life outside of these spiritual systems of advantage is hard and almost impossible an average young graduate you stand before a property and you ask how much is this and they mention an amount that to you you receive it as an evil report are we together you laugh at what he said because you just you flat you laugh at yourself and say let, let me just find my way and go away because i know that there is almost no hope of this kind of thing god who picks a man from the dung hill and will set him to sit among princes where is that god i testify i testify that your mercies are real I testify, I testify. Your goodness is me. I testify, your goodness is me. Listen, there are many things in God's system that you were not supposed to do for yourself and by yourself. There is an advantage. It's not a call to be lazy, but please believe me.
we will be able to focus on advancing the kingdom of God and his purposes when certain things are in place the demon that is destroying people right now is this finance 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 people talk about money in their sleep they talk about money when they wake up they are discussing with you and the next thing they veered off talking about they didn't even know when they they stopped talking about you are talking about your relatives how is my mother how is my father and the next thing the person is talking about how to pay a loan he collected and you say how oh, let's we are discussing family the stress i'm not please I'm, I'm not just trying to to make you feel bad these are real issues conferences like these are designed you heard what your pastor said that after this conference it should not be a member will not be effective if you have to stay and have a meeting till 10 o'clock and you know there is school fees 400,000 500,000 you have twins for starters remember the grace came from here they prophesied speed now two children are here and you have to pay at once you regret every time you see them this is this is what happens in our society The living condition of people is as though the work of the cross were a lie. And let me tell you something. Life is in faces, but there are faces you have passed. And we must find a way of admitting it and forcing ourselves out of a lot of nonsense. The lifetime of a process is not forever. A time comes in your life when not having a car is no longer, it, 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 the, the needs of your life will, will squeeze and strangle you. Am I making sense to you? Because we are going to pray. Satisfy me early. Show me your mercy. Satisfy me early. In Africa, if you are blessed alone, you are still in trouble. An average family has between 4 to 15 people who refuse to rise when they see you rising. They just keep cheering you and say there's no, there's no point rising since you are there. I mean, you just continue... And they blackmail you by saying we prayed for you and expect returns forever so if all you have is enough for you you are still in trouble it was because it was only joseph that dreamt alone that he was in trouble if all the brothers had dreams they would discuss their dreams together in africa when you prosper you are not saved you must prosper in a way that you factor the problems that can come and prosper to the point that your prosperity can still solve them that point you have entered your sabbath i vowed a vow and i say it with all humility i vowed a vow to god that i will never serve and worship mammon this money thing that resources will serve me while I serve his majesty this is it but life will squeeze you to a point where all you think about is money and the Bible says where your treasure is and you know sometimes we act as if these things are not important in all we have to be very honest with ourselves it is very important money is not everything but it's amazing men how many things will go wrong in your life when resources are not there it takes money to buy a Bible. It takes a money to buy tapes. It takes money to create the atmosphere where the Holy Ghost can come. Because the visitation of God is atmosphere dependent. He will not come carelessly. You must pay the price to create the atmosphere that can host Him. And in the name of Jesus, God is changing somebody's life. hallelujah we're going to pray shortly i would steal out a few minutes i believe it was in my heart yesterday we are going to pray there are people whose sins by the grace of god will be forgiven there are people whose bodies are infirmities that have to live today there are situations in our lives that must go otherwise i mean we have spent days discussing the possibilities of the mercy of god if we do not experience it then we call god a liar I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before.
before your glorious majesty. I cast mine around before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. I told you yesterday that the mercy of God does not just come upon people because they need it. There is a position. Please listen. The grace of God does not come on strong people. When the grace of God is released, it looks for weakness. If it does not find weakness, it leaves. It says, my strength is perfected in your weakness. So when you cast your crown before him, the song we're singing now, is a declaration of your need for him. That you are saying, Lord, I've exhausted my intelligence. I acknowledge that I am educated. I acknowledge that I'm connected to powers that be. But I also recognize that if you do not help a man, he cannot be helped. And Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped. Marvelously helped. Marvelously helped. Show me the money that entered your account from your salary as salary and show me the one that entered as mercy can you distinguish them everything in your account is it a testimony of what you worked for or is there an advantage do you know the difference show me revelations that just came to you while you were lying down on your bed you were not asking god for anything his mercy just came and that became a series that blessed and lifted people I will be lying if I tell you every dimension of grace in my life was something I intentionally pursued. There are dimensions I don't know how they came. All I know is that the God of heaven who shows men mercy showed me mercy. Hallelujah. There are dimensions of anointing and grace. Ah. My brothers and my sisters, please listen to me. When God's mercy finds you, you will join the world to stand in awe and say, what is this? If it is the Lord's doing, it must be marvelous. 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 When last did a man look at your life and say, what type of a man is this? They looked at Paul and Barnabas. They called them Zeus and Hermes. We are too common to give God glory. Our lives are too common to give God glory. Our testimonies are too general. That's why people say, is he really God? Or are you just saying it because you're a Christian? There are things that you say that people say, this one, it has to be God. This one, it has to be God. And so today we're going to pray and cry that the God of heaven would look upon us with mercy. Lord, turn my life into a sign and a wonder. Turn my life into an oasis of testimonies. Let things so shift so change in my life so shift so change in my life lift your voice while you are seated pray that prayer we're going to stand up shortly but i want you to pray it while you are seated cry to the lord of heaven it's time to change my life oh god it's time to change my life oh god i come before you broken i come before you Desiring your mercy, I acknowledge that my strength can fail me spiritually, financially, career wise. I'm a businessman, but your grace is yet to speak in my life. I'm a businessman, but your mercy is yet to speak in my life. I'm a pastor, and it's as if I'm not even born again. There is no demand on the grace that is upon my life. Pray one minute. You are wrapping the conference with a prayer and insistence. Thou son of David, have mercy upon me. I cannot be in Lagos, a land of plenty. Hallelujah. 
I hope you are not tired of prayer because we are appropriating this prayer point number two you sing this song for me spirit lead me where my trust is without poor let me walk that's the second prayer point open my eyes lead me there is a God which no foul has seen where is my blessing in Lagos, oh God? Where is my portion? He dug a well. The Philistines covered it. He dug another well. The Philistines covered it. He dug another one and they left him. And he called you Rehoboth. God, give me my space. Give me my place. I'm tired of managing. I'm tired of sharing. Open my eyes. Where is my space of influence? Where is the place where my voice can speak? I will call upon your Listen, please, in the name of Jesus, take this prayer session seriously. Look at this. It is the mercy of God that opens your eyes to see what is yours. The Bible says when Jesus resurrected, watch this. He was in the garden where his tomb was. The disciples came, sir. They did not see him. But a woman came and looked at the tomb and kept looking. And the next thing she saw him and said, Rabboni, what you are not seeing is there. But there is a grace that makes you see it. Lift your voice and cry. Open my eyes. Where is my job? Open my eyes. Where is my anointing? Open my eyes. Where is my gift? Open my eyes. The gift of open eyes. Where is my place in life? Where is my place in destiny? I can't just be a general businessman. Show me your God. He says, call on to me and I will answer. I will show you, show you, show you. Listen, please look up. Look up. Let me tell you something while still praying. Please don't be tired. This is serious business here. Pastor, did you know? Let me tell you this. I thank God for what God is doing through my teachings around the world. I am humbled and honored. But let me tell you how it all started. At that point, there was no such thing as posting messages online for people to start to have it and download. There was no such thing like free downloads. It was cassettes and CDs. Remember? And the Lord told me, son, let me show you how the future will be. A time will come when these things will be digital. They will be downloaded. And he said, that is, is a personal instruction. I'm not saying. He said, before that happens, get these teachings. Put them online. The angel of the Lord will give them wings. And they will go over the nations and spread your influence. I was in a room, quietly. God can show you things to come. Listen, those who really prosper, those who, they don't follow. They are those who create possibilities and wait for others to come. God can show you the next trend of real estate from 2020 till 2030. Don't assume things will always be the way they have been. This is why business is shut down. This is why ministry is shut down. Lord, what is the next trend of things happening? The sons of Issachar, the Bible says they had an understanding of the times. There are people today who are suffering punishment because their eyes could not see the things to come. He says, right. The things that will happen shortly. 
do you know what will bring blessings to people this year do you know what listen look at the church today there are people who came with songs it didn't make sense but they were discerning and their songs have brought them for they made them voices today there are people it's amazing certain teachings that have blessed the body of christ from me if i tell you how these teachings came you will marvel and you will wonder we are not extraordinary in ourselves we need the eyes to see lord what is the next thing that will lift men what is the next thing that will announce men show me and bring me into it lift your voice and cry show me what will interest the government in lagos here what is going to be the secret of prosperity in the next 10 years what will be the secret of exploits in ministry no assumptions no assumptions what is going to be the secret that will cause a generation to hear a man? What is the hear ye him formula for the next 10 years? Show me! Show me! Please pray! Low, low, low like a mighty wind Spirit of victory, power as we go. Go, go, go like the mighty wind. Spirit of victory, power as we go. hallelujah prayer point number three now please listen very carefully the bible tells us that someone slew his brother called Cain. the brother was dead but his blood was alive please listen and the bible tells us that the blood has a voice and the voice kept speaking before the throne for vengeance and God could not ignore that voice it was that voice that invited God to come and say Cain what have you done your brother's blood cry it can I tell you this I know that there are all kinds of imbalances when it has to do with causes and yokes and all of that but let me tell you sincerely blood cries let me tell you the ordinances of the fathers can have a repercussion on the sons I want you to find a way of believing this now it is true that causes can be broken it is true that yokes can be lifted it is true that burdens can be destroyed but they are not destroyed by default as powerful as God is he did not cast your sin out of you your sins were not casted out of you he went through the protocol of translating you from the kingdom of darkness into light he would have said your sin your iniquity I cast you in my name there are things you don't cast there are protocols that you go through because blood is a witness in the earth. I show you why many people never rise. It's true. Educated, they spend 20 years in the US and come back into Lagos and you see them and say, I thought you were in US. They say, I'm back. Doing what? I, I, I don't know. I just know that I'm back. Blood cries. So let me tell you sincerely. Who sinned? that this man was born blind that means there was something jesus taught them in his mentorship session he taught them that blindness can be based on the sin of that person or his father they didn't just say why is this man born blind they said who sin if it's not him then we know that is where he's connected from there are only three ways that the devil has access to men number one covenant number two ignorance number three disobedience these are the only three gates that authorize the operation of darkness and the highest of them you will be surprised is covenant it is covenants that make for transgenerational continuity the formation of patterns your grandmother was raped your mother was raped now that kind of thing happens marriages don't last more than two years no matter how nice don't just assume that my wife loves me very well it's not about the human beings i told you this the realm of the spirit controls the physical realm there are people who will never have friends for more than two weeks something must happen 
the blood the blood and then the Bible tells us listen carefully that one of the things we experience upon Mount Zion is the blood of sprinkling the blood of sprinkling do you know what that does is a system of atonement where God comes and says it is true that you are connected with the ordinances of the fathers and it is true that these things should happen to you but I see the blood 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 my precious blood I see the blood the blood eternal saving blood hallelujah we are praying I hope I'm not messing up your, Monday, your, your service this morning please if you can and you can listen to me please pair yourselves into three and we are going to pray this thing once and for all find someone you don't have to scatter your seed but find someone we are going to pray that in the name of Jesus and by the mystery of the blood the ordinances that connect me to the tragedies of the past it may be my mistakes it may be the mistakes of the fathers but here at household of David instrumentalists while we are praying you just set the atmosphere for us praise the Lord everybody please say in the name of Jesus please shout it say in the name of Jesus today I declare that I am a child of God I stand by the blood and I speak against ordinances against yokes against activities of demons against ancestry against patterns over my life release me now lift your voice and start praying pray pray blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us he nailed it to his cross ordinances that bring barrenness ordinances that bring failure ordinances that bring circles it's time to move forward time to make progress Ordinances of lust, ordinances of failure, ordinances of defeat, patterns, cycles. Ordinances of delay. Your line pray. Enough is enough. In the name of Jesus, enough is enough. Someone is praying. Declare the blood, the bailout system for the tragedy of ancestry. I declare the blood, the bailout system. hallelujah please look up we are still praying the third prayer point you are going to engage with understanding this is the third prayer point atmosphere shift now change me holy spirit that every chain tying my destiny tying my progress in the name of the Lord God of the heavens I declare chains be broken atmosphere of disfavor atmosphere of tragedy shift now lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray
Alléluia. 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 One last prayer point. Now, please look up. One last prayer point. You are going to pray. Listen to me. The Bible says, remember not the former things. I want to show you one of the ministries of mercy. The ministry of mercy can break the power of yesterday from your life. It's amazing how that when you want to make progress, yesterday can draw you back. Remember yesterday. Remember this. When you, when you, listen, when the Bible says remember not, your mind may never forget physically. But the system of remembrance is that anytime you think about something, you give it life. I hope you know. So when you want to make progress, yesterday and the packages of yesterday try to haunt you and you cannot move forward. The Bible says, remember not the former things. You want to start another business and you remember that yesterday I started one and it failed woefully. The failure of yesterday, you want to move. It's amazing how many people mark time because the memory of yesterday, we are going to wipe that memory. We will kill the life of yesterday by the power of mercy and say, my yesterday, God gave me a gift of tomorrow to do away with you. And now that my tomorrow has come, I wave you goodbye. Lift your voice and begin to pray. I break free from the power of yesterday. Remember not the former things. Nor consider the things of old. Someone is praying the new. Lord the new. Lord the new. Spiritually the new. Financially the new. In the name of Jesus. I remember not the former things. Nor consider the things of old. For behold I do a new thing. The former failures. The former limitations. Someone pray. My past be detached from me. My failures be detached from me. Fall, go away, so that Paul can manifest. So let hope. This trembles in your holy hand. Yeah, yeah. Let it go. Let it rise. Let it rise. But this one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind, I press. Forgetting 2019, I press. Forgetting 1975, I press. Forgetting 1981, I press. Listen, listen. Please look at me. If this is all we do, it is worth it for the morning service. We are rounding up the conference. That's why I'm taking my time to do this. Please look up. Now, I know you lost a loved one and I know it is painful, but to mourn is fine, but grief is a spirit. It's a spirit that reproduces itself again. It can hold you for decades and you will move. There are people whose properties were stolen since 1990. Till now, they don't have another one because they have given life to their yesterday. It cannot move them forward. You ask them, why are you like this? They say, why am I not like that? I mean, look, imagine what happened. Do you know that most of your excuses are in yesterday? Why are you an unhappy woman? After being deceived by 10 men, why should I be happy? It is true. But what if the 11th person is the one who God has put 20 men in him to come and be both a healing and a remedy? The story of seven of many of you know the word seven there is the seventh time they succeeded they failed six times down and the seventh time they went up 
that was where the name seven up came from rejoice not over me my enemies though i fall oh yes i will rise is there hope for a tree even if it be cut down listen there are some of you who have written jam 10 times but you cannot move forward you the lord you are having dreams of the 11th one but remember even when you fail the fifth one you had the same dream master we have toiled all night how am i sure that what i'm seeing will not be the way it was yesterday the past an irresponsible gentleman is coming to you wants to see your parents and you have generalized him because you have put yesterday upon his face and he looks like yesterday it's true that your child did not do well but could it be that your child got born again first of january and this is genuine his encounter is now genuine be careful the past can steal your future yesterday is a thief it can steal tomorrow create a bridge between yesterday and tomorrow so far that they never meet for as far as the heavens are above the earth i have it, it says it says that um, um how did he put it now he has separated east and west your sin against you away from you i am a forward thinker i always look at what god is doing be careful you came to lagos and every time you pass the bridge that you sat in you look at it and worship the bridge and never enter a house because the memory of your sitting in the bridge my conscience must be purged with pure water so that i think the bible says finally brethren whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are noble if there be any praise if there be any virtue he said think on these things stop going around telling everybody all your stories of yesterday to attract sympathy we live in a generation that is so obsessed with sympathy now i know we are human beings we are psychological beings i don't downplay that place but let me tell you it is this affinity for sympathy that has birthed entitlement mentality people believe that they are entitled to portions of your life your wealth your influence is wrong there are children today who started complaining insulting their parents since they were 19 today they are 45 their parents are long gone yet the parents are the reasons why they continue to say they are failures they teach their children son i'm a failure today because my father was a failure mercy gives you the grace to rise again mercy gives you the grace someone will have to get angry and say do you know what tomorrow i'm starting that business not next week i'm tired of saying one day tomorrow the sun will not go down without me putting anything on paper make up your mind the mercy of god and the grace of god remember the scripture pastor shared when you have obtained the grace you run you don't sit you don't assume mercy is not a a a, a giving allowance for carelessness now you can run because you have obtained mercy he shows you how to run he shows you how to talk he shows you how to do business hallelujah i will cause my goodness to pass by you i will cause my goodness to pass by you they did not say goodness and mercy shall follow you when you go alone the doors don't open you have to carry those escorts goodness and mercy you are good and your mercy endures forever that was the song that they sang every time they were faced with a situation that overwhelmed them hallelujah praise the lord now very quickly i'm going to be ministering to us very quickly but i want to make an altar call and a very serious altar call please look up the first be blessing and benefit of the mercy of God as revealed in scripture is that he forgives our sins many people don't talk about the forgiveness of sins as though it's not necessary there is no forgiveness of sin that happens by default you must engage it there are people standing here you don't want to start this year dilly dallying and guessing you want to mean it with God and you want to mean it seriously 
apostle i've come for conferences apostle i always go around i'm even the child of a pastor that's not what i'm saying you're saying i am tired of the way my life is i truly want to make it right with jesus i want to remember this day for good you see the thing about god is that he gave you a will he will never force you i set before you this day life death blessing cursing our time is gone and it may not be fair to keep us unnecessarily long from the back to the front from my right to my left i believe there are two groups of people the first group is saying apostle i've been waiting for this call so that i will run to jesus the second group is saying apostle i love jesus but for some reason my life has just gone haywire i cannot truly call myself a christian and i need to run to jesus now both groups i want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come before the lord here yeah, don't wait for anybody to be the first and there's nothing to be ashamed of come running come running come running to the mercy seat someone come and celebrate them as come so that there can be space the bible says let us come boldly before the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find help in time of need listen my dear brothers and sisters you are standing before the god of all flesh gone are the days when you laugh at people when they stand before the throne i've told you we are all men my first message in this conference is that when it has to do with the grace and the mercy of God, there are no exceptions. In reality, all of us are supposed to be standing here. You know that? But we're only standing to give these people room. So while you are there, please let your heart be here too. It is very funny sometimes that once we make altar calls, it is because you don't continue just to get born again emotionally. There is an exact system where people obtain the life of God. But as far as the need for His mercy and His grace is concerned, you should live here. Some of you are crying standing here. I'm saying this so that you will be comfortable. Because sometimes when we make this altar call, we make it as people who are so immune and exempted. We don't need His mercy. And then the people stand feeling like sinners, miserable people. It's not true. All of us deserve to be standing there. So as we give the opportunity, I want you to pray this prayer from the depth of your heart with understanding. You are not reciting a poem. You are joining the family. Some of you are making this decision for the first time. Some of you are renewing your relationship with Jesus. Please lift your right hand and say after me loud, clear from the depth of your heart. Jesus is standing here. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you that you are the Son of God. Today, I declare that I need your help, that I need your life. I believe you died for me I believe you rose again for my justification I receive eternal life into my spirit I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that from today and forever I am a child of God washed by the blood of the Lamb I move forward ever and backward never amen keep your hands lifted i declare by the authority of scripture that your sins are forgiven and i declare that the lord opens a new chapter in your life i curse the spirit of the past in the name of jesus i declare that the power of sin the power of the flesh the power of satan is broken over your life from today the grace to love the lord the grace to walk in truth and righteousness is released upon you may the lord honor you May the Lord bless you. 
in the name of Jesus. Let's celebrate them, please.